Imagine a world where you could manifest your dreams almost instantly. A reality where the gap between desire and fulfillment shrinks to almost nothing. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? Well, buckle up, because we're about to blur the lines between science and magic. You've probably heard of the law of attraction, but this. This is attraction on steroids. We're talking about harnessing the power of quantum physics. Yes, that mind-bending branch of science. To supercharge your manifestation abilities. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have all the luck? Why everything they touch turns to gold? While others struggle to make even the smallest dreams come true? The secret might just lie in their connection to the quantum field, an invisible energy network that connects everything in the universe. I'm about to show you how to tap into this cosmic Wi-Fi and download your desires straight from the universe. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at reality the same way again. Okay, picture this. You're at a concert, and even though you can't see it, you can feel the music vibrating through your body, right? That's kind of what the quantum field is like, but on a universal scale. It's this invisible energy that's buzzing all around us, connecting everything. Now I know what you're thinking. Sounds pretty out there, doesn't it? But here's the cool part. Scientists are actually studying this stuff. They call it the zero point field or the unified field. It's like this cosmic soup that everything, and I mean everything, is floating in. But here's where it gets really wild. This field isn't just empty space. It's more like a sea of possibilities. Imagine if every dream, every idea, every potential reality was floating around in this soup, just waiting to be fished out. And guess what? You're the fisherman or fisherwoman. Your thoughts, your emotions, they're like your fishing rod. The quality of your thoughts determines what you're going to catch from this quantum sea. Mind-blowing, right? Now, you're probably thinking, if this quantum field is so amazing, why isn't my life perfect already? Well, here's the deal. It's all about frequency. Think of it like trying to tune into your favorite radio station. You know how sometimes you're driving and your favorite song comes on, but it's all staticky and you can barely hear it. That's kind of what's happening with most of us and the quantum field. We're not tuned in properly. See, our day-to-day -day worries, our stress about bills, that argument we had with our partner, all of that is like interference. It's creating static that makes it hard to connect clearly with the field. It's like we're stuck on the Life Sucks FM station when we really want to be tuned into Dreams Come True radio. And the worst part, most of us don't even realize we're on the wrong station. We're so used to the static that we think that's just how life is supposed to sound. But here's the good news, you can change the station. It's not always easy, and it takes some practice, but once you get it, oh boy, the music of life becomes so much sweeter. And that's exactly what we're going to learn how to do. I promise, by the end of this, you'll feel like a quantum manifesting pro. Okay, so we've talked about being on the wrong radio station, right? Well, now it's time to learn how to tune that dial and get crystal clear reception with the quantum field. Think of this as your personal manifestation masterclass. Step 1. Disconnect from the 3D world. I know, I know, it sounds a bit out there, but hear me out. This is about letting go of all the stuff that's keeping you stuck. Your worries about tomorrow, that embarrassing thing you said five years ago, even your idea of who you are. Just for a moment, let it all go. It's like decluttering your mind to make room for the good stuff. Step 2. Expand your awareness. This is where it gets fun. Instead of focusing on your thoughts, try to sense the space around you. Feel the air on your skin, the ground beneath your feet. It's like zooming out from a close-up to see the whole picture. This helps shift your brain into a more relaxed state, which is key for tapping into the quantum field. Step 3. Open your heart. Now, don't roll your eyes at me. 
This isn't some cheesy romance novel stuff. It's about feeling those high-vibe emotions like gratitude, joy, and love. Remember how we talked about frequency? Well, these emotions are your express ticket to the quantum field. It's like switching from AM to FM. Suddenly, everything's clearer and more vibrant. Step 4. Visualize with feeling. Here's where you get to play movie director. Picture what you want to manifest, but don't just see it, feel it. If it's a new job, feel the excitement of walking into your new office. If it's a relationship, feel the warmth of being with someone who gets you. The more real you can make it feel, the faster it will show up in your life. Step 5. Trust and let go. This is often the trickiest part. You've done the work, now you need to trust the process. It's like planting a seed. You don't dig it up every day to check if it's growing, right? You trust that it will. Same thing here. Let go of the how and when, and just know that it's coming. Remember, this isn't a one-and-done deal. It's a practice. But the more you do it, the better you'll get, and the faster you'll see results. So ready to give it a shot. Now I know some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but where's the proof? Well, buckle up, because we're about to get a little nerdy, but in a cool way, I promise. Remember Einstein's famous equation, E equals omega 2. It's not just for physicists. It shows us that energy and matter are basically two sides of the same coin. So when we're pumping out those high-vibe emotions, we're literally changing the energy around us. And that energy, it becomes the building blocks of our reality. But here's the real mind-bender. In quantum physics, particles can exist in multiple states until they're observed. It's like Schrodinger's cat, but instead of a cat, it's your dreams. By focusing on what you want, you're collapsing all those possibilities into your desired outcome. Pretty wild, right? Now, let's talk practice. This isn't like learning to ride a bike where you get it once and you're set for life. It's more like working out. The more you do it, the stronger you get. Start small. Maybe try manifesting a great parking spot or a compliment from a stranger. As you see results, you'll naturally start to believe in bigger possibilities. And hey, don't get discouraged if it doesn't work right away. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is your manifestation mojo. The key is to keep at it, even when things aren't going your way. Remember, those high-frequency emotions aren't just for when life is good. They're your secret weapon for turning things around when life gets tough. So, are you ready to become a quantum manifesting maestro? Trust me, stick with this, and you'll be amazed what you can create in your life. The universe is waiting. Let's do this.